Hi, welcome to AR Care and Small Guru. This is Rajiv Lochan. Today I'm going to demonstrate how you can create an add-in inside Inventor API using Visual C Sharp. Okay, if you have gone through my earlier video tutorials, you'd have come across like we were connecting to Inventor API through Visual Studio IDE itself. Now we go a step for forward and then we actually see an add-in implemented inside the inventor okay for that uh, we can straight away go to wizards and install it you have to go to the installed inventor directory in my case it's inventor 2008 SDK under tools developers wizards you have an inventor wizards which actually installs an add-in template for you in various uh, .NET languages such as C Sharp, C++ and uh, VB.NET as well. I'm not very sure of uh, Visual Studio 6.0. Anyway, since I've already installed this wizard, it's already there in my template list inside my Visual Studio 2005. And uh, please uh, mind this that uh, this add-in uh, template works for 2005 and 2003 and not yet been uh, developed for 2008 and uh, sometimes you may also get some error while installing this add-in but please ignore this error messages and just keep for going forward okay now what you can do is you can go to file and then uh, new project there you can see this inventor autodesk inventor add-in i'm in visual c sharp language and then when i click on this i need to add uh, project name since I've already created one that is named as a uh, ER CAD inventor add-in so I'll, this is for just for demonstration purpose you please name your company or project name and then some identifier like add-in 1 add-in 2 or whatever that is saved as solution name okay we'll just cancel this since we already have one and I go to my properties tab I've already created this in a similar fashion and that is uh, virgin as well I haven't done anything to it okay mm, anyways I'll double click on this it's happening oh, sorry I need to have opened this solution explorer okay when you create a new project this is what you have this is the solution name ERCAD inventor add-in 1 inside this the two references are added inventor reference is added automatically as well as system and two uh, c -sharp files are also created let's open this assembly info.cs this has general information about assembly such as uh, assembly title and description and uh, it also has the version so that you can have some version control so that's it in this particular file for now and uh, we'll go to the second file which is standard add-in server that is open here okay uh, this is the main uh, starting point for an add-in and starting from here you can uh, go as fancy as you can this has a uh, inventor uh, using namespace and this namespace is ARCAD inventor one add in one remember this is the file name we gave and inside this this has created a class standard add in server a public class that inherits from sorry that implements inventor dot application add in server so basically this is an interface and it has uh, four uh, methods which needs to be implemented by all the add-ins that you create so those are out here one is called activate second is deactivate then you have one called execute execute command the fourth one is automation okay uh, we'll go one by one so first is like it you have one uh, th this particular uh, code is the constructor 
so you can initialize anything out here and next you have the activate this method is called when inventor loads the add-in okay so basically what you are doing is uh, it is getting this uh, application add-in site as parameter and then boolean whether this is loading for the first time or not then it actually starts an add-in I mean application object and saves it into this variable m underscore inventor application this is similar to inventor dot application since we are inside inventor so it's like add-in site so it comes through add-in okay so you can write uh, more out here let's make it simple and type something like uh, inventor application dot caption is equal to add in okay so basically we are just doing a small test out here deactivate is called when the inventor is uh, unloading the add-in or by either like man uh, it, it's done by the user manually or when inventor is closing the session so it's like releasing the com object and you can also do something like if you want to save the user settings you can also save it into some config file then this is an obsolete uh, command I mean the uh, method but still you need to implement this such so that uh, your code works and this is uh, public object automation this actually extends your uh, add-in and opens up its API so that other programs can use it as well so right now we are not doing anything so we'll just say return null and the next part inside this is uh, com registration functions I'm not very sure like uh, how best you can change these settings most of the things are like standard except like uh, supported software version greater than 11 or 10 that maybe you can change and then also some version control is there out here but for it uh, and also it like whenever the add-in is unregistered so what action it should take so that is also given out here so that is basically it's done automatically so no need to bother so since we have already started this okay let me start my inventor Okay, I need to save this. Let's see. I go to save, control, save all. Okay, my inventory is loading. So what inventor does is when it is loading, it tries to search for all the add-ins that are there, and it loads that also. Hopefully, this time we will be able to see our loading being. Uh, I mean, see our add-in being loaded. Okay, it's taking some time by then I'll try to explain you like some of the resources which you can uh, go through for getting started with add-in 